This is James Mathers for the Digital Cinema Society at Cinegear Expo 2024. I'm here with uh, Eric Eggleys from uh, a new company called Jagotech. They've got some really innovative uh, lighting solutions that I believe work with lasers. Can you tell us about it, Eric? Yeah, thanks, James. Um, yeah, so what we have done is we have developed um, a laser-based lighting fixture that has optimized light through fiber optics. And the fiber optics, they range from anywhere from one millimeter diameter all the way up to 12 millimeter. Uh, we have two different units. Uh, one is a four watt unit, uh, which the, the, one, the one millimeter looks phenomenal. I mean, you can get it in the little cracks and crevices that you generally can't get anything else. Um, and you can actually run that about 50 to 75 feet on one unit, on one laser unit, uh, and it's very homogenous. Uh, with two laser units, uh, one on either end. Uh, you can do some really cool uh, color blending effects, um, but you can, you can go 100, 110 feet real easy with two units. And that's with either the 12 watt unit or the four watt unit. So there's a light engine that's got the laser in it, and then yes. you shoot it up through the yeah, fiber so optic? Yeah, so d we have actually, uh, we have a transport fiber that goes into our unit, into the laser unit. Uh, that is a fully jacketed fiber optic. Okay, you can ha that can be anywhere from 30 feet to 100 feet. So you can run that offset, you can run the laser unit offset, run this jacketed fiber to the set, and then at that point you connect your side emitting fiber. And the side emitting fiber is a full 360 degree transmission of light. You know, um, it's it's very even. There is no like spots where you generally get with the other products out there. <laughs> well, if it's uh, just a, a fiber, there's no electronics, nothing, uh, no power going Correct. to the cable. So that makes it waterproof, right? The only Correct. thing you have to worry yeah, about there's is, is the light engine. Correct. Yeah. So there, there isn't even. Uh, so it's interesting. No electricity goes through it, obviously, um, and there's no heat that you can feel. So that's the other part of it. I mean, you could literally lay it on a body, you know, up against a body, and there is no heat generated from it. Even though it's a high-power laser, there's no heat. So, um, yeah, you can, it's fully submersible. You could throw the side-emitting fiber in the water, and you don't have to worry about anything, I mean, uh, for as long as you want. I mean, <laughs> Sounds like there's a lot of advantages. Uh, what kind of power consumption? Uh, power, so we're on 5 amps on the 12-watt system and about 2.5 and amps on the 4-watt system, 12-volt uh, on the 4-watt. Yeah. Yeah, so. Um, Easily you can run them all. Oh, we got, we got a, a, we got a little circuit. compartment for batteries on yeah. the 4-watt. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, okay. it's awesome. Um, and, of course, we have DMX in and out, 5-pin uh, on both units, uh, Ethernet connection, uh, which is ArtNet and SACN, uh, and wireless on the 4-watt. On the and you can control color also? Yeah, absolutely. DMX. Color, yeah, via DMX. We'll have uh, presets mm -hmm. on the manual part of it. We'll have presets um, for not only, you know, Kelvin temperatures, but also for effects. Yeah. So you can do the same effects with, uh, with our laser units as you can with standard LEDs. You know, it's not pixel mapped, obviously, because it's a single mm -hmm. source going through the fiber. So it sounds like it'd be something that would be terrific to build into a set or maybe to put in a car interior or something. That yeah, so um, interesting you should ask, because we were on set yesterday doing a demo. Um, and they wanted to see how it would give them a nice run uh, up against this wall. Uh, it was a rock-based type wall. Uh, we laid out our fiber uh, in about five minutes and lit it. So it took about seven minutes to lay a hundred foot of fiber and light it up. I mean, it saves a ton of time and you can cut it to length. It's literally just a razor knife and you cut it and you're yeah. done. I mean, there's no soldering. There's no, it, it just connect it up and you're finished. And your partner, Craig Brink, uh, he's a been on set lighting for years and years. For a long, long time. Yeah, I think most people in the industry know Craig. He started yeah, for Rat, sure. Rat Pack, right? Rat Pack, yes. Yeah. Founder of Rat Pack. And then uh, we sort of teamed up uh, about a year and a half ago. You know, he saw what I was playing with with lasers and, um, you know, he saw, the, saw potential the potential. And it was lighting, like, let's yeah. do this. Let's, <laughs> let's get it out there. Let's refine it and get it done. Sounds like a good partnership. Thank yeah. you so much. 
Appreciate it, James. Thank you.